fans of Shadows of the Empire rejoice because today is the day, November 16th, 2022, that Prince Zizor has officially made canon. We get to see his first appearance in Hidden Empire, issue number one, written by Charles Soule with artwork by Stephen Cummings. We are going to get into the details, but first, my name is Star Raptor, and welcome to the channel. If you find this video interesting, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That being said, we're going to get into the details because it's not explicitly said that this is Prince Zizor appearing in his hologram, but we're going to go into the details of why I think this is like 99% chance this is him. So the whole run of this story, right, between the events of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, Kira is leading the Crimson Dawn against the Empire. She wants to kill the Emperor and Darth Vader. So what she does beforehand in the Crimson Rain comics, which we'll talk about in a minute here, is she pits all these different criminal syndicates together. The Huts versus the Black Sun versus the Pikes versus the Droid Gatra, Zarek Bash. All these people are fighting against one another. But in this issue, we have the Emperor calling up all the leaders of these five different war families, the criminal war families, and he says, you've been played. Kira, is the one that is actually getting you guys to fight one another to make you guys look weak. And what he says is, whoever brings me Kira's head, basically, will be held in high esteem. And, well, what do you know? We have this person that looks very similar to Prince Zizor from the previous iterations of the uh, Legends universe, saying, Crimson Dawn, Lady Kira. And he's acknowledging Palpatine's like suggestion that one of them was a turncoat and that's the person that's not there is Kira so he's saying Crimson Dawn and and that is our big moment of fame for Prince Caesar. I was ex I was expecting a little bit more fanfare at least a mention of his name but it's definitely not Lord Guti and let me go back in time why is this Prince or why am I thinking about this because in Crimson Rain issue number one which is the predecessor miniseries to Hidden Empire in which Crim uh, Crimson Dawn is a big part where Kira's putting these different teams together and whatnot that first issue, she is making these deals with these different parties of the criminals. Like I mentioned, the Pikes, the Black Sun and all. So she meets with Lord Guti, and he is the guy from the Clone Wars. You've seen he's got the headdress and the goatee and all that. She's telling him about this deal she's making with Crimson Dawn, the Black Sun. And she says, go tell your, your, your higher up there, Prince Zizor, about my deal. Let him know what I have to say. So I would think that Prince Zizor would be the only fouling black sun that would have a connection to the emperor you're not going to get the emperor calling some lackey that's some lieutenant like no one is going to have the respect to talk to palpatine unless they're the head honcho of that family so that's basically the evidence i've put out to you take it where you want it because i i, I think this has got to be prince Isor. so I think where this story could be heading is the Black Sun, Prince Zizor. He's going to be the one that gets credit for maybe taking down Kira and then maybe spinning off another story of like Shadows of the Empire in the canon realm of things. Like we are in that era between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. We haven't gotten Dash Rendar yet. Hashtag Dash Rendar watch. But we have one half of what I like about Shadows of the Empire is those iconic villains and smugglers and we're getting into that territory we see a hologram image of prince Caesar. i think that's super exciting i'm waiting to see more of him again wish there was a little bit more fanfare especially because his name's not even you know he's not even named in this but you know you put two and two together it's got to be the prince Caesar himself so what do you have to say about this revelation of an iconic legends character finally appearing in a canon piece of material he's not in the flesh he's he's through the, the the you know the hologram airwaves or whatever you want to call them but still you can see his features enough to know it's him let me know in the comment section down below for more on star wars you could check out my andor coverage that i do every week of the show airing and much more make sure you you go ahead and subscribe to the channel hitting that bell icon so you'll be notified when future videos go live of me talking about comics movies shows and what now that's gonna do it for me star thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you always thanks for checking out the video please hit that thumbs up symbol it helps me know that i'm making content that you guys enjoy and if you enjoyed this video i also include two videos down below you guys should check out and please consider subscribing to this channel it helps support me and it notifies you guys of when i get new videos up on the channel you can also contact me on twitter facebook and instagram at star raptor